Hey guys, I wanted to get a little video doing some uh, adaptive clearing on a socket. I'm down point six two five, so I'm full depth on this, and it's pretty cool. I worked hard to get the um, speeds and feeds right with FS Wizard and then using Fusion 360 to do the cam. Plugging those numbers in from FS Wizard and it seems to be handling the load properly. Unfortunately, I can't get cooling in from both sides because I only have one nozzle, so... Hopefully, uh, this is a quarter inch milling bit and I'm on the last, last pocket here. Okay, and now it's pulling out. Sorry, I had to pause it there to grab my, um, my control in case it went and did something goofy because I need to actually change to the quarter inch milling, or the eighth inch milling bit now. This is the one that I'm worried about. So, that looks really cool. So this little eighth inch bit is now gonna go in there and, um, It's going to clean up the corners a little bit better. That is awesome. That's really cool. Here's the nut. And as you can see, it almost fits. So when I put the eighth inch milling bit in, um, that should fit after the eighth inch bit's done its operation. I'm going to pause it here. All right. I am machining with a uh, really tiny bit here. Sorry for the bad video, but I'm a little bit nervous. This thing's down full depth. I'm cleaning out these corners. It looks like it's doing okay. I mean, I guess as long as it's not deflecting. Clearly it doesn't have coolant on it like it should. But, there it goes. There was corner number one. And it seems to be okay. All right. It's pretty freaking cool. I was definitely nervous about this bit. This is a special 1 8 milling bit with 1 inch long flutes. So it's a very, very long plunge that I'm down full depth trying to take off these little tiny cuts to clean out the corner in each of the six points of the socket. And it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. As long as I didn't screw up my tool path, you can hear it, it's almost done with number corner number two. There it is, corner number two. Now it's at least getting a little bit of cooling. I'll tell you what, this kind of stuff is no problem for guys with uh good strong background in you know machining and CNC from from the career and technology centers they run Tormox and Haas and um, I forget the one that starts with an F <laughs> um, but anyway you know they don't have any any problem doing those operations They've got full confidence in what they're doing, but 
with me, I'm literally learning as I go and learning how to do this stuff. So, um, it's a scary process. Here it goes on corner number four. So we're halfway through this operation. And it seems like it's gonna work. So as long as I can put my uh, my nut in there when I'm done, then it'll have been successful. I have to take this coupler and get it broached after that to put the uh, female part of the keyway in, quarter inch keyway, but this is the coupler for the generator for Harmony. And um, tell you what, that was a little bit scary for me. Definitely scary to do that operation. So it was a really nice success. This steel is hard. It's um, cold drawn. So it's, it was told to me at least that they draw it over a mandrel or through a mandrel. It's cold drawn steel. 1.5 outer diameter and one inch inner diameter. So uh, here we go on corner number five. Pretty freaking cool, guys. All right, well at this point I'm gonna stop the video so I don't bore anyone, but if you uh, would like to support our efforts, patreon.com slash creating more. Again, patreon.com slash creating more is our link for Patreon. You can subscribe and become a patron there and help out with the work that I'm doing for Harmony Vertical Axis Wind Turbine. Okay, guys. Take care. Thank you for watching. Happy 2020.